What's up, co-reporters, and welcome back to my channel. There is some drama brewing between Kaylin Lowry, former Teen Mom 2 star, and her nanny, Natalie, who has been by her side helping her raise her tribe of sons uh, for the past several years. Na Natalie, I believe she came on board just before Kale conceived Creed. So she had helped with Isaac, Lincoln, and Lux, and then Creed since he was a very newborn. Um, and everything seemed to be going quite well between the two of them from what I saw and what I heard on the podcast and everything like that. Though it is true that there was a video that Kaylin posted to her TikTok account where she was <laughs> heeing about a surprise uh, twins to Natalie. She's like, Natalie, I'm pregnant with twins. And Natalie just looked like her whole earth was shattered because it's hard enough helping someone to raise like five children. But now to hear that there's two more on the way, especially when your youngest client of the bunch is not even a year old yet, was quite shocking for her, right? Because I imagine that she was taking on pretty much the brunt of the, the child rearing in that household for Kale. But I didn't think that that was something that the two of them could fall out over. But it seems like the two of them did end up falling out over something because Natalie took to her Instagram account and posted something quite shady. Spoiler alert, it seems to me like she's calling Kale a social media mom, but a terrible mom in real life. Let's take a look at what it is that Natalie had to post. By the way, you guys, um, for more teen mom and pop culture news in general, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I also want to give a shout out to Teen Mom Chatter for capturing the screenshot. I missed it, though I do have the rest of the screenshots from Natalie. So Natalie posted this. It's a meme and it says, you're a great mom on Facebook. Too bad you're a horrible mom in real life. That is a very, very serious allegation to, to throw out there. Horrible. It's a huge word. You know, if someone says bad or lackluster or half-assed or something like that, okay. But when you say horrible with a hard H, oh, you mean it, baby. And that's coming from your chest. So I'm just shocked. You know, this could have been about anybody, right? Like this truly, truly could have been about anybody. But the thing that links Natalie's post to Kaylin Lowry is what it is that she added on top of the meme. So Natalie didn't make this meme, y'all. She just added something on top. And it says, huh, imagine that, fakery bakery moms. Well, Fakery Bakery, if you, like me, suffer through Kale's podcast on a weekly basis, um, you know that Fakery Bakery refers to Kale's Coffee Convos podcast. At the very beginning of each week's Coffee Convos podcast, Kale and Lindsay are talking about there being a Fakery Bakery afoot. But don't just take my word for it, y'all. Listen for yourself. I hate gift giving and receiving. Receiving gifts is so weird. What do you say? Thank you. This is Coffee Convos with Kale Lowry and Lindsay Chrisley. I really want you to be in your feels, Kale. That does not interest me whatsoever. I feel very attacked by you. A spirited discussion about motherhood, friendship, family, and life in the public eye. I'm just not with the fakery anymore. There's a fakery bakery around here. <laughs> Here's so there you go. There is a fakery bakery around here. Oh, Natalie means business, y'all. When she posted this, imagine that, bakery, bakery moms, dot, dot, dot. So that's the first red flag, that something is going on over there, right? And now when we get into other posts that Natalie had made on her Instagram, it seems as though she's doubling down on whatever it might be, that this is not just a coincidence that she posted this, that bakery, bakery moms are actually horrible in real life, but they're just great on social media. Take a look at what she posted next. Natalie's meme, second meme says, stay on your peace. Those being prayer, priorities, peace, positivity, and patience. The words that stick to me, stick out to me the most are peace and positivity. Peace and positivity, like, it means that you are coming out of something that didn't bring you a lot of peace and it didn't bring you a lot of positivity, right? Kaylin Lowry has a reputation of not being able to keep friends around and whatnot. So I, and she also kind of prides herself on being a chaotic person, right? Kale and the chaos. Chaos to me is not positive and it's not peaceful. So with Natalie saying that she is now trying to stay on her peace for peace and positivity after posting that like 
some fakery bakery moms are great on social media, aka Facebook, but horrible in real life. I feel like she's saying, hey, listen, I am distancing myself from kale and the chaos. Now, this is where things get extra interesting as well, because guess who comes out of his grandma's attic to start commenting on all of this as well? None other than Kale's biggest fan, Chris Lopez. I don't know if he and Natalie have been in communication or anything like that, but he caught wind of her shady post and he decided to post his own Instagram meme. Let's take a look at what it says. <clears throat> This next chapter of my life is called, I told y'all so. So you've got Natalie saying that someone is a great social media mom, horrible real life mom. She's after a peace and positivity in this new place in her life. And baby daddy number three is saying, I told y'all so. When you put that all together, you guys, it very, very, very much looks like something went down between Kale and Natalie. So, of course, I had to do my due diligence before hopping up on here and talking to you all about this. I figured, listen, Natalie, if you're going to post this sort of stuff online, does this mean that you and Kaylin are no longer Instagram friends? Well, strangely enough, when you go to Natalie's profile, if you follow Kale as well, it'll say that Kaylin is still following her. And then when you search in Natalie's followings over there, one of the 815 people that Natalie follows on so on Instagram is Kaylin Lowry, which makes it all the more interesting. This must be a fresh beef. Huh? Because normally when you're going to shade someone so directly, don't you at least unfollow them first or block them or something like that? Maybe Natalie hid Kale's ability to view her Instagram stories. I don't know, but it seems like a lot to say about someone on social media when the two of you are still following each other. Now, for her part, Kale and Larry so far is still lying low. She hasn't even hinted at any kind of drama with Natalie behind the scenes. I checked out her Instagram stories. She's trying to figure out how compasses work for the most part, and she's photoshopping herself, um, her selfies um, to show off that snapback, I guess. But nothing about Natalie or fights or anything like that. So... My guess is that all of this is relatively new and that Natalie just decided to go ahead and take it to social media almost immediately, which to me tells me that my girl is pissed. Now, unfortunately for those of you who want tea on all of this, Kaylin Lowry makes everybody in her life sign an NDA, including Uber drivers. What is it? What do you guys have over there? DoorDash? Including DoorDash drivers. You think you can deliver her a burger without signing an NDA? Ha, ha, ha. Take out your pen right here, right now. So for that reason, I don't think we're going to get that much direct um, information out on Natalie moving forward. Unless she consults with a lawyer who helps her figure out like whether or not this NDA actually holds weight. Because you know what? I do have a lawyer friend here on YouTube who comes onto my channel from time to time, Stephanie from Wine and Chill. Check her out if you haven't already. But when we were doing the Diddy story together, she pretty much let it be known that NDAs are not really worth the papers that they are uh, printed on. Like, you know, so perhaps, perhaps in certain cases, right? Not in all cases, but in certain cases, you know, because sometimes they are a little bit too overreaching and therefore null and void. So you know what, Natalie, if you would like a lawyer to look over that NDA and see if you are actually beholden to it, come closer. My email address is in the comments, in the description box of this video. So go ahead, shoot me a little email and I will connect you. I've got two lawyer friends here on YouTube and actually they're both based in New York City. Um, but we'll get you straight. We'll figure that out, okay? So just a little bit of an FYI there. Now, you guys, Kale did also announce that in anticipation of her youngest two children, twin A and twin B, apparently they're named Valley and Iverson, um, 
she was hiring an au pair, which is a, a nanny that would be living in the home um, and like would be taking care of the kids pretty much 24 seven. Um, so maybe, I don't know, is Natalie upset about that? Like that she still has to take on all of these other kids. Meanwhile, the au pair only looks after the twins. Maybe she feels like there's just too many damn kids in this house. Honestly, I feel like the people in this house have not been able to sleep for at least four years. Like every year there's a new baby popping in crying and screaming all night long. You know, it's just too much. Maybe she's overwhelmed. It really is an awful lot. Maybe her pay wasn't even being bumped up with all of this drama and chaos going on. I don't know, but keep an eye out. I, I hope that Natalie starts talking and she looks into whether or not that NDA is actually, you know, real and enforceable. Whew. And I'll continue to refresh on this to see if she and Kale continue following each other on Instagram as well. So for those of you who don't believe that Natalie was talking about Kale, I do ask you, who do you think she was talking about when she said fakery bakery moms? I've never heard of anyone using the term fakery bakery. I only heard about it on the Coffee Convos uh, podcast that I suffer, I mean, listen to every single week for my channel members, which by the way, if you guys want summaries on those uh, podcasts, make sure to uh, hit the join button below or go to youtube.com slash grace report slash join for those exclusive podcast recaps. Anyway, guys, I'm going to take a sip of water and maybe go for a walk at the park right now because this feels really heavy. It does. Like Natalie has been around Kale for quite a long time now. So to hear that this might be Kale's latest falling out is major because it's not just something that is between Natalie and Kale. Natalie was seemingly, um, you know, a co-primary caregiver for many children of Kale's for many years now. So this is going to be quite difficult for those children, you know, um, and that's hard. It really is. Anyway, especially if it goes super public like this. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this story in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.